If you're an employee in China and you've been recently offered a new position, you might be feeling a little uncertain or anxious. But don't worry, I'm going to guide you through the process and make sure everything goes smoothly. First off, uh, it's important to understand that the process of transferring your job can vary depending on your circumstances. You'll need to make sure you have a new job offer in hand before you start the job transfer procedure. You'll also need to make sure that you have the necessary documents to make the job transfer. For example, your criminal record check, your physical examination, and your TEFL certificate, and other proof of uh, your worthiness for the job transfer. Once you have everything prepared, it's time to make the transfer to your new job. Now, this might be a big change, but it's all part of the adventure. I have laid out the basic process, which consists of three steps. One is to get your job offer, obviously. Two is to get your cancellation and release letters. And three, uh, get getting your recommendation and uh, reference letters. These steps will be shown on the screen or down in the description below. So feel free to skip to any part you feel is relevant to you. The first thing we need to do is add every job agent we can get our hands on. And the best place to find them is on WeChat. Now, how can we find agents on WeChat? Now, the first thing we need to do is to add every agent we can get our hands on. These are uh, recruitment agents. These are things like headhunters, etc. These people will help us land a job. See if you have friends in your desired city and whether they know any agents or any uh, WeChat groups that have agents in them that offer jobs in that city. You may also find agents on LinkedIn, but I personally found that process to be a little slow. So um, you'll end up adding them on WeChat anyway, and it's easier to go to a WeChat job group since many of them just aggregate in one place and it's easier to uh, get lots of connections uh, at the same time rather than individually messaging each of them. Now you do have the option to find jobs by yourself and you should, but it's going to be a little slow without the help of the agents. So make sure you're outsourcing this. As soon as you find an agent, make sure you send a CV and an introductory video. And the third thing that you also should send them is this list of frequently asked questions with their answers um, in the message. Now, uh, the reason I'm telling you this is because there's this list of FAQs or, or frequently asked questions that the agents will ask you like what your passport your name all, all this stuff so uh, just look in the description below and you'll see them now in that FAQ below uh, you, I'm just going to go over a few points on how to answer them but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to answer most of the questions I already put there so it starts off with saying hello how are you uh, my name is blah 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 and uh, to save some of your time I'm going to uh, se send a bunch of answers to these questions that you're, you're likely going to ask me yada 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 and uh, in one of the FAQ points it asks if you have work visa documents available not only does this mean the documents in English but also the translated documents now, some workplaces may have already done it on your behalf so you might have to buy it off from them and some of you may have already translated beforehand and uh, got it fixed there so it, it's, it's going to be fine um, whatever happens I'm sure that your process will go smoothly but there's going to be uh, translation that's also important on top of the original documents. Another point I want to make is uh, they might ask you what is your expected location. Now you have to be very specific and very strict with it if you want a very specific and strict lo location. So if you say a city, they might send you to the outskirts of a city. So make sure you research that city and know exactly the district you, you want to live in and uh, make sure you know uh, how close it is to wherever you, you want it to be. Now, uh, there's also another question that says expected start date of work. Um, you can literally say any date that's after the time you finish working there full time. So the, if you're a teacher, obviously you'll just uh, stop working around June or something or July. Uh, so you just say that, that month and that's fine. You don't need to be specific with your contract because the contract is going to end up being cancelled just to make the transfer. Now. There's a point about the expected salary in the FAQ. Uh, for this one, uh, I would just go research uh, on Google, find out uh, what's the average salary of foreigners, um, especially 
for foreigners who are native English speakers. Now, what, what constitutes as a native English speaker in, in the eyes of the Chinese regulations or whatever is you probably have to be from Canada, America, the UK, New Zealand, or Australia. The other countries, uh, from, my, from, my, from the stories I heard, they kind of had a more difficult time getting the native English teacher positions, even, even when they had uh, very good English speaking levels. If you get free residence with your job offer, that's going to be a golden job offer because then uh, you don't have to worry much about uh, paying uh, extra taxes on top of the housing costs, but that depends on how it's laid out in the contract. Um, if you want to calculate how much taxes you need to pay on top of your income, click the link right here. Um, I go into depth about how to do that, uh, but that's out of the scope of this video. All right, the next step is talking about the cancellation and the release letter. So in this step, you might need to get two or three pieces of paper from your current place of employment. It goes without saying that you need a stellar letter of recommendation from your superior. The other two letters are about your cancellation of your current contract. Both of these letters are standard procedure when you're canceling and making job transfers in China. On my right, you will see something called the release letter. Um, it'll have a paragraph in Chinese and English outlining uh, what uh, the um, employment period you had and where you worked. And at the end, it'll have the employment signature and all that jazz. Next, you'll see a piece of paper that says application form for um, cancellation of the foreigner's work permit. So you do need to cancel your work permit in order to get a new work permit for your new job. Um, the picture's right there, you, you'll, you can pause it to take a look, and uh, basically that all that information will be filled out by your employer, so don't worry about it. So with the release letter and the cancellation letter, make sure you ask for the date in which the, these letters will be available so that the new HR can also find out about it and uh, start facilitating the process on, at their end. Now comes the final step, and that's getting your three references. Now you're going to need their emails, their uh, phone numbers, and their full names, obviously. When it comes to emails, make sure you're using their official school email and not some other email. You can get away with using other email, but some schools will look down upon that. Now one thing to keep in mind is that it's normal to feel anxious or uncertain when you're making this transition. Um, it's, it's a big change in your life. But uh, focus on the positive aspects and know that you have the abilities and skills uh, needed to in order to succeed in your new job. So there you have it. These are the considerations that you need to take in order to transfer to a new job in China. Remember, this is an exciting opportunity for growth and development and everything is going to be okay. Good luck in your new position. If you'd like to learn more about Chinese income tax, please click the link right here and I'll go in depth on how it works. Also, please leave a comment below on what kind of things you'd like me to cover in my next video. Thank you, please subscribe and leave a like.